So let's dive in. How does tabulate work? I'm going to use big class families and everything in here is can be found in the sample data library. Um, so if you do want to follow along, you feel free to grab these data sets. So how does it work? I'm just going to open this guy up and, you know, maybe we'll create this table that you see in my journal. We're going to do some dragging and dropping to get a sense for how tabulate works. All right, so I've got my data table. I'm going to analyze tabulate. We're going to just play around. So I'm going to grab height and look at these drop zones where I can potentially put height. And I'm picking on height because this is kind of my personal tip. I think it's most natural when you start with the column that you want to summarize, right? So when we are looking at the columns in this data set, the columns that we can create summary statistics for, they're going to be mostly our height and weight, right? We're going to take averages. We can get mins and maxes. And then our grouping variables are going to be non-continuous, right? So name, age, sex. So that's a little bit of terminology. It's like, what is the column that you're using for calculations? And then what is your grouping column? So I'm going to pick up my height and I'm just going to toss it in here, right? So what happened? With the information it knew, jump, it just took the sum of all the heights in my data table. I'm going to do undo. That gets me back to the starting place. What happens when I throw height here? Same information, it's just pivoted. So this is all jump nose. It's like, well, you wanted height. I'm giving you the sum for everyone. And sum out of the box, so jumps default, sum is the default statistic. You can change that in your preferences. You could make it the average or the mean if that's what's most common for your workflows. So I'm clicking undo again. Let's go back and toss height back in. Here's height. Well, what if I don't want the sum? I want the average, right? That makes more sense for this data table. I don't necessarily need to know how tall everyone would be if they stacked up on top of each other. I get to make selections from this summary statistic area. I'm gonna pick up mean and I'm gonna drag it over sum because I'm gonna replace sum with mean. Now, what if I want another statistic? Uh, let's, let's do min and max since that's what my example had. So I'm going to pick up min and I'm going to come over here and I'm going to release it. So I'm going to undo that again. What happens when, look at these different drop zones. I feel like I'm doing like an operation here. Uh, I'm not releasing my mouse right now. I'm, I've got the long bar. If I go in, I've got the short bar, right? So what happens if I release it on the long bar? Well, jump doesn't know that it's the height that I want them in of. Just like Graph Builder, you get different results depending on where you release your different columns or summary statistics. So if I want the min and the max of height, I'm going to drag min and I'm going to make sure it's little bar and release. All right. What if I want max? I'm going to pick up max and I'm going to drag it in. I'm going to get, wait till I get the little bar and release. I never read documentation to figure out um, where to release the variables. Um, I just did trial and error. And I do think that is the best way with tabulate because it's not expensive to move variables around. Right, so now I know what the average height is across all of my data, min and max. What about another variable? What if I want weight? Well, if I pick up weight and I throw it over height, right, that's going to replace it. Well, maybe I want both. Okay, so maybe I'm going to bring height again and I'm going to come over here. So let's see what happens. Oh boy. I wonder if I could get height, min, mean, min, max, without doing too much work, right? Because I don't necessarily want to go through all those steps again. I have to find the right drop zone. So I'm going to do an undo again, right? So if I just want heights average, 
I might do this. I might release. And then I might say, yeah, I just want to show mean, min, max for weight, but then I just want the mean for height. I'm going to do undo, undo. But if I want all three for height, I'm going to drag it over and then I'm going to make sure I go to the left, right? I don't want that long bar. I want the short bar. And then I get those same statistics for height. Yeah, it's a little bit like operation. So it's very satisfying, right? Because you can see the whole thing being built. Um, so my example, I had done some grouping. Um, it's much more interesting to maybe do some stratification so I have more information. But now I just know, I guess overall, what's the average height and weight in the min and max. Now let's, let's work with our grouping variables. So we've got sex and age. Okay, so I'm gonna pick up sex and I'm gonna put it over here. And now instantly, right, it's segmenting by sex. Now, what if I want sex and age? Well, I'm just gonna bring age in. So I put age next to sex. I could have put it on the other side too, right? So this would be sex is the larger grouping variable than age inside. And then let's see if I can just drag it over here. Right now, age is the, I guess, macro grouping variable, and then I have sex inside. So that's kind of how you can change the, the order of those grouping variables. Now, there's one more point I want to make before we kind of push forward. So right now, we're really just kind of talking about um, the mouse clicks and just um, how tabulate works. I want to kind of just focus on this grouping variable thing. So age, age in my data table is coded as ordinal. Let's change it. I'm gonna, I actually, um, I want to change it to, so let's get rid of this. I want to change it to continuous. So I'm just gonna right click here and flip it to continuous. I can no longer have age as a grouping variable in tabulate, right? So notice I changed age from ordinal to continuous, and now jump wants to do a summary of that. So those continuous variables can only be used for summarization. If you want to group by something that, you know, is numeric, you need to make sure it is coded as nominal or ordinal. So right, so now age is back to ordinal, and now it can serve as a grouping variable. This is something that was news to me because I had used table summary so often, and table summary doesn't necessarily care about these rules for the modeling type for the grouping variable, right? But tabulate does. So here is my final table. I'm going to click done. This is just like Graph Builder. Go to the red triangle to show the control panel again. Click done to get out of the control panel. We're going to spend more time talking about some of the other features. That was really just to develop some intuition about how Tabulate works.